Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Friday, February the 1st, uh, 2013. This is a gold report. This is the GLD, the Gold Exchange Traded Fund. And uh, we are up just a scant uh, two-tenths of a percent right now. We are coming head-to-head -head with this upper uh, uh, trend line, short-term trend line here. Uh, that I've drawn. We have this uh, uh, sort of wedging pattern happening here. I uh, drew a, a line uh, that uh, connected three lows here and then uh, drew a line across these tops here to form this wedging triangle. Uh, you'll notice that this triangle is forming below this blue line which is the 50-day moving average so that is offering us what we call overhead resistance. Uh, it's been hard to get through that. Uh, we have battled that uh, for months now. Uh, we uh, um, uh, got below it here back in late October, rallied up um, uh, against it uh, here several times in early November, uh, broke through it a little bit here in mid-November, but quickly crashed down, came back, tried again here in early December, got knocked back heavy, uh, uh, going from 167 down to 158, and then came up again uh, here in late December, and then uh, came up again here uh, just a few weeks ago. And now uh, it's rolling over here, and we're up against it again. So fighting a battle at the 50-day moving average, which is falling. Uh, so gold uh, is uh, is having a hard time struggling down here. Um, the market does not want to let it get above this key blue line, the 50-day moving average. Uh, but we are building a, a foundation here, possibly for an assault on it. We do have two accumulation days, which means a heavier volume uh, on an up day um, uh, than the previous day. Uh, so a little more accumulation going on here than distribution, which is uh, selling uh, heavier selling than the previous day. Uh, so um, let's see what happens here. Very critical point for gold, but really going nowhere here, uh, coming up against this, uh, this line of resistance that has given us a headache now for months. Looking at a weekly chart of the GLD, uh, you can see this down uh, sloping uh, uh, pattern here. Uh, you can see the wedging along the bottom here. Um, we did have a nice cup formation here uh, that took us through pretty much the meat of, uh, of 2012. You can see how we got to 174 and then we came all the way back up after dipping down to 148.60 and got uh, just slightly above it, only seven one hundredths of a percent. Uh, of a point uh, above it. So um, basically got turned away and now we've been headed down ever since. Um, hopefully this this uh, little bottom we're building here gives us some legs to start a rally. Uh, but clearly uh, holding underneath that 10 week moving average, the blue line here, offering us uh, uh, the, the uh, headache that we've been uh, having here. Now you can also notice this green dotted line, which is the 20 week moving average, is also uh, above us, so we have to fight through that too. So we're just fighting a sideways battle here for the last several months, uh, trying to uh, uh, build a base maybe and make make a launch. Uh, we still would have to get uh, through this overhead trend line coming in at about one, the 165 level too once we get past that. And then um, the 20-week uh, the, the moving average also at about the 165.50 level. So uh, gold uh, uh, just trying to uh, uh, grind sideways here and uh, possibly set up and make a run, but uh, nothing really to report here. Moving on, on now to a monthly chart of gold. This is the spot gold uh, uh, metal price here, the most interesting chart for me. And uh, you can see on a monthly basis, we've been kind of in a tight trading range here for the last four months. And we are getting support here along this blue line, which is your 10-month moving average, which is exactly coinciding with the 20-month moving average. Uh, this green dotted line. So uh, these are two key moving averages offering support now in the gold market as we move sideways. You can notice uh, this cup uh, with a handle formation we are forming, which incidentally is the most powerful base uh, you can form. Um, uh, and we'd love to see a breakout here. Uh, certainly moving above 1798.10 would be a positive, positive move for gold here. Um, one thing I want to note, we're in a, a, a base that's about 17 or 18 months long and uh, it has corrected from the top to the bottom about 20 and one half percent. Now uh, our previous basis here, this was a, a 19 month long base here with a 34 percent correction, so a little deeper, went down and tagged this lower line, the 40 uh, month moving average but uh, uh, righted itself back up and then broke out to new high grounds for a powerful run from $1,000 uh, on up to $1,923. 
Now, uh, the previous base before that was a 17-month long cup with a 22.5% correction. So you can see that this base here is uh, getting to be about the same length and corrective uh, phase that our previous bases have done, which is uh, an interesting sign. Um, if, if we're going to follow history on back to 2006, this base uh, should break out and move higher. Uh, but uh, you know, there's no guarantees in anything. But uh, certainly, there's some positive signs here uh, in uh, the goal. Looking at a monthly chart, so let's look for a breakout above 1798 uh, and 10 cents, and uh, that would be a very bullish sign. So thanks for listening.